A smart port is nothing but a fully automated port. A network of smart sensors and actuators, wireless devices, and data centers allows the port authorities to provide essential services in a faster and more efficient manner. Sensors are used to collect the required data in order to transform the port into a smart port due to the increase in the amount of data being transferred across the network. The global mobile data traffic is estimated to continue to grow exponentially from 2014 to 2020. This explosion of mobile data brings up the following challenges, connectivity capacity network performance, resource optimization. To overcome these challenges, 5G is introduced to smart port and it is expected to support 10 times the present data capacity, 10 to 100 times the present number and speed of available connection, 10 times the present battery lifetime and one-fifth the present delay of 4G LTE. What is computer vision? Computer vision is an interdisciplinary scientific field that deals with how computers can be made to gain high-level understanding from digital images or videos. In other words, computer vision uses image processing algorithms to solve some of its tasks. By combining AI and machine learning, it trains computers to interpret and understand the visual world. How computer vision works with camera the camera will detect the object or image and select the specific words or numbers to be perceived by using the corresponding algorithm. Therefore, data will be extract based on the features and send it to computer to analyze it. For example, computer vision can be applied for automatic identification of the container number and to collect this information as part of automatic real-time logistics. The packing position and door location information are also important for the automatic transport of containers which have been monitored by the camera and laser sensor. Computer vision can provide automatic identification of the container number, seal integrity, the state of the door handle and the lock and door orientation. So, Cameras need to transmit large amount of data in real time and should guarantee that packets arrive at their destinations. Then, computer can receive the information accurately and analyze it. 5G can achieve the requirements of computer vision that are high reliability and low latency. How high reliability can be implemented in computer vision application for container? To achieve this, TCP is required. TCP is a connection-oriented protocol that ensures delivery of all packets and to enable the receiver to deliver the packets in order to its application layer. However, the transmission rate of TCP is low because it uses flow control to reduce overwhelming network. To improve the transmission rates, pipelining is needed to allow the sender to have a large number of packets in the pipeline. Not only that, TCP also provides for the recovery of segments that get lost, damaged, duplicated or received out of their correct coder. It requires an acknowledge message be returned after transmitting data. By using TCP, the packet will only send after the previous packet has been acknowledged. TCP can detect if a packet goes missing and resend it accordingly. If low reliability, it will cause the application become less accurate, as the media being received may be distorted and might affect the output. That's why high reliability and low latency is very important in computer vision for container. Our second solution will be about automated guided vehicle in smart port. First, what is AGV? AGV, Automated Guided Vehicle, is basically a mobile robot that follows wires in the floor and uses visions, magnets, or lasers for navigation. It is equipped with an automatic guiding device with safety protection and various transfer functions. It can also control its route or use the electromagnetic path following system to set its route. 
AGV handling robot will become a new intelligent industrial equipment with real-time sensing, safe identification, avoiding multiple obstacles, intelligent decision-making, and automatic execution. You will not find people working in the container terminal area anymore. Everything becomes automated, therefore, the demand for high performance. Flexible networking wireless networks is increasingly urgent for AGV systems. The network requirements for AGV will be as follow, low latency, large bandwidth and high reliability. With 4G, reliability, low latency and large bandwidth cannot be satisfied at the same time. In order to fulfill the requirement, 4G will be powerless to accommodate the replacement of AGV. So 5G is introduced, which has advantages in low latency, high density mass connection in factory applications, reliability, and network mobility management, which will make the AGV system more efficient. How to implement 5G in AGV? Let's talk about one of the functions of AGV in SmartPort. With a wide range of safety precautions, AGV warns the employees around in dangerous situations by sending a notification to the central station. In this situation, reliable transmission between AGV and central station is needed. In order to have a reliable transmission, Transmission Control Protocol TCP, is used as when we send data from a node to another, packets can be lost, they can arrive out of order. The network can be congested or the receiver node can be overloaded. With TCP, it makes sure the packets are delivered correctly to the receiver node. For the reliable transmission, we will look at the two features of TCP, which are flow control and congestion control. Flow control is mainly done on the receiver side, and the congestion control is mainly done on the sender side. Let's look at the first feature of TCP. Flow control basically means that TCP will ensure that the sender is not overwhelming the receiver with more data than it can handle. When we need to send data over a network, this is normally what happens. The sender application writes data to a socket. TCP will wrap this data in a segment and hand it to the network layer that will route it to the receiving node. On another side, the network layer will deliver this piece of data to TCP. That will make it available to the receiver application as an exact copy of the data sent. Let's look into it. TCP stores the data it needs to send in the send buffer and the data it receives in the receive buffer. When the application is ready, it will then read data from the receive buffer. In our solution, TCP stores receive data in a receive buffer on the central station side. TCP acknowledges receipt of the data, and advertises, communicates a new receive window to the sending system. The receive window represents the number of bytes that are available in the receive buffer. If the receive buffer is full, the receiving system advertises a receive window size of zero, and the sending system must wait to send more data. After the receiving application retrieves data from the receive buffer, the receiving system can then advertise a receive window size that is equal to the amount of data that was read. Then, TCP on the sending system can resume sending data. To conclude, flow control is all about making sure we don't send more packets when the receive buffer is already full, as the receiver wouldn't be able to handle them and would need to drop these packets. Let's move to the second feature, congestion control, which is used to avoid congestion. Congestion leads to the loss of packets in transmit and as mentioned before. Reliable transmission is a must for safety aspect. When congestion happens, queues on links begin to fill up and packets get dropped. So it is necessary to control the congestion in network. TCP reacts to congestion by reducing the sender window size. 
the size of the sender window is determined by the following two factors receiver window size, congestion window size. Receiver window size sender should not send data greater than receiver window size. Otherwise, it leads to dropping the TCP segments which causes TCP retransmission. Congestion window size sender should not send data greater than congestion window size. Otherwise, it leads to dropping the TCP segments which causes TCP retransmission. Despite the proposed solutions with 5G implementation, there remains a challenge for smart port because wireless devices are prone to be affected by big metal parts and high-power electrical appliances. With all the huge containers in the port, the communications of the devices are prone to be affected. There remain little researches on this issue and we would like to have a further discussion on this in the comment section. Do leave your thoughts before you go. Thank you for watching.